For four months, demonstrators took to the streets of Burkina Faso's capital city and other major towns to protest an attempt by then-President Blaise Compaore to extend his 27-year rule. The 63-year-old leader wanted, in 2014, to push through a constitutional change, which would have allowed him to seek re-election the following year. Compaore eventually announced a state of emergency to be enforced by the army and called for talks with the opposition. The violent demonstrations that have induced and plunged our people into a stupor dishonor the honest men of this country, but I have heard the message and I have understood. But the protesters had run out of patience. They stormed parliament and set it alight. At least three protesters were shot dead and scores wounded when security forces opened fire on the crowd. Parliament was dissolved and a transitional government announced. Compaore will now be tried in absentia in the capital, Ouagadougou. He's been charged with assassination. More than 30 ministers who authorize security forces to fire on the unarmed citizens will also be on trial. Compaore is also wanted in connection with the murder of former President Thomas Sankara nearly 30 years ago. The popular leftist leader was killed in a coup which swept Compaore to power. He has always denied any involvement. Married to an Ivorian, Compaore currently lives in exile in Côte d'Ivoire and has not been extradited. Clementine Logan, CGTN.